going to Savannah today to pick up some chairs, beautiful chairs. You're going to love them. So we're taking y'all along to go on the road trip. We saw these chairs uh, a few weeks ago. Yes, a few weeks ago. And we loved them, but it wasn't a good time to get them just yet. And so now we searched around Charleston, couldn't really find anything similar. So we're going back to get them. Back to Savannah. We had a great time last time. Yes, last time we <laughs> we met someone um, named, what's his name? Billy Cook? Yes, um, from Ridgeville. From Ridgeville. Isn't that crazy? Yes. We were riding around a neighborhood because I got some windows uh, to use at the, at the farmhouse. And we saw these humongous, gorgeous concrete urns. And Cheryl was like, let's go see. Let's just knock on their door and see if they... I don't know, maybe they'll want to sell yeah. them. I mean, yeah. stranger things have happened. That's true. So, what did we do? We went, and I knocked, I tried to knock on the door. I did knock on the door. But there was a little sign there that said, no trespassing, beware of the dog. Yeah, didn't deter me, not one bit. <laughs> I kept knocking on the door. Nobody came. I walked around the house a little bit, went back, knocked on the door. Nobody came. So, then... I had the idea, well, we'll just go to one of their neighbors and ask them. Maybe they'll call them and tell them to come to the door. Oh, well, that didn't happen. <laughs> Went to a neighbor. They said, I don't even know who lives there. So we start to leave and we go down the street and there's a man out in the yard. And I said, Amber, stop. Let me go ask this man. And she said, we're not going to ask this man. And I said, yes, we are. <laughs> and I said, we're not going to ask that man. And I said, yes, we are. <laughs> so guess what? We did. <laughs> and so then you went up. I said, I'm staying in the car. I'm not yes. getting out. You go up and talk to him. And I did. And he was, and I, he said, where are you from? And I said, I am from Somerville. Where are you from? And he said, originally Ridgeville. And I said, oh, my daughter-in-law lives in Ridgeville, her right. family. So anyway, I said, Come on, you gotta meet Amber. So anyway, I brought him to the car and he talked to Amber. And then I said, do you know that lady at the end of that street up there? And he said, no, I don't. And I said, well, do you know anybody that might know her? And he said, no, I don't. And he said, there's a man, Littleton, over on the corner. He might know her. So, so Amber, we need to go a few doors down and yes. find Littleton. That's right. So we drive over there and I'm like, I am not getting out at a strange man's house again. I'm staying in the car and you can go knock on the front door. Well, she didn't go knock on the front door. Well, she... I, I would have, but I heard a noise in the backyard. Right. So she walks past the gate. Yes. Into the backyard, full backyard well, of open. somebody we it's had open. never met before yeah. and all I hear I have the windows down I actually took a couple pictures for y'all I wish I would have videoed it and I just hear she I, Littleton oh Littleton Littleton are you home? Littleton and I'm thinking we're gonna get shot or either yeah. his wife is inside and going why is there a woman in the backyard yelling um, Littleton. Littleton yeah so I got out because then I was scared for her life and then got her back in the car we have no urns littleton was not home yeah but we're going to savannah today and who knows who knows yeah honestly with her we could run into littleton littleton's wife could be the shop owner where the chairs are stranger things have happened billy cook was from ridgeville and john littleton and i kept thinking little john you know little john but anyway john littleton okay littleton if you're there and you see this video. We're on the way to Savannah. We're on the way to Savannah. Mm -hmm. And y'all are going with us. Yes. So, catch you soon. Bye. Bye.